Yo guys, it's Phoenix, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Rock 4 Episode 1. And in this episode, we're going to <laughs> Let's Play Sonic the Ep Let's Play Sonic 4 Episode 1. Episode 1. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to go to Lost Labyrinth Zone. And welcome to Labyrinth Zone. Do 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 do. do. I know, but this is Lost Labyrinth Zone. It's got a really catchy theme. I really like it. Ow. Uh. This zone, it can be a little annoying. Uh, there isn't as much water. It's all ruins based, not water based like the original Labyrinth Zone was. So, it's hard to call this Labyrinth Zone. I mean, granted, Lo Lab Lost Labyrinth Zone and Mad Gear actually have a purpose. A butcher, which is kind of cool. I mean, you know. But yeah. Let's just go. I mean, this stage is this stage isn't too hard. Just hold right here, and oh yeah, yeah. Be careful against that, because those red ones are spiky, and they bring these guys back too, which are. It's. I was like, no. I mean, really, why would you bring those guys back there? No, we'll come across a different flavor of Orbanauts, which uh, I will give them the credit for the most annoying enemy in the game. Um. Yeah, don't homing attack him. Are we coming up on the... The green Orbanauts. These are the worst enemies in the game. I mean, they're always in your path and really annoying place. So... So yeah, uh, boulder rolling. Just think of it red, like red hot log rolling in Mario 64. But yeah, I just like to tap uh, the left button over... Uh, tap, tap to go left over and over again and crap. Yeah, whatever. I was I kind of wanted that into invincibility, but whatever. All right, this car can be a tricky to get up. I want my life. That's that's. And jump and boom, boom, boom. Ah, I love doing that. And watch out for the Orbanaut because he can be annoying. Let's go, just fun to get that speed booster. All right. So and. Okay, just run, just run, just run! And... Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Alright, be very careful over here. And... Ow! Like, you cannot just... Oh, alright. No, no, I'm getting up there. I want to go up there. Oh, God! Dang it. Does the platform respawn? Oh, man, I never know what's up. God dang it. Yeah, something I should mention is that whenever you get hit, the, the, the more you get hit, the more your rings fly. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know what to think of that. Is It's trying to make the game more challenging, be or it's just trying to be annoying. I, mean, I couldn't tell you. In return, more... Uh, more rings pop out, so I mean, I don't know what to think of that. Yeah, so just go, just go. Yeah, just be kind of careful here. I'll try to get Sonic's animation like this and not like that. Like where he's kind of just stumbling uh, backwards and not stumbling forward like that, where he's flinging his hands forward. But yeah, and with that, that's all for Lost Labyrinth Zone Act 1. Um, that was a, it's a pretty cool level. I mean, it's all right. All the levels in this game are just, and they're all right. And now we have World of Darkness. Now this, as you can see, is way different from any other level we fought because Sonic actually has a torch in his hand. Uh. This torch, of course, is to see, no dirt, and it's also used to solve puzzles. It's very cool. It's a very cool gimmick. Uh, I should mention this fun fact on... I kind of forgot to mention this in Casino uh, Street Act 2, but... On uh, the iPad version, which is the beta version, there was a different level. And this was just... It was called Strange Minecart, and what it was is just a level in a minecart. We will get into the, into the minecarts later in this level, actually. But they decided to remove it because they didn't. They thought of it as too gimmicky, so I replaced it with this. 
Now, your torch can set dynamite on fire. It can light torches, as we've seen, so... It can do a lot of cool stuff. Ow. Now, this level's only... This fun level's fun to play the second time you play it, just because of... Kyle, you're nervous as heck. Like, you have no idea what's coming up, so... But as you can see, like... The whole level isn't all darkness. I should say fun fact, because you can get supersonic before here, which I think they planned that, is... Press 2 to jump with the minecart, but yeah. Uh, if you have supersonic and you use supersonic here... Um, oh, dang it. I saw an invincibility box. If you use supersonic here, uh, the whole world is... Uh, all the darkness goes away, which is a nice touch. I like that. Granted, he still holds the frickin' torch, but... Still, an owl. And this part's so awesome. Whoa! Boom! 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 boom. Oh, okay, so many points. So many points. And boom! Boom! Attack combos for the win. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the start of this playthrough, I actually am playing this on my Wii. So, I do own it on the Xbox and on the iPod Touch, but that's besides the point. Um, uh, I'm saying that, uh, that's why I wonder if the music might sound a little different, because the, the Wii uses different instruments. But, I just decided to play on the Wii because it's easier for me to play on the Wii. First of all, I can't record iPod, and second, that's my brother's iPod, so I mean, that you wouldn't want me doing that. But yeah, now for Casino Street, instead of Act 2, Casino Street Act 2, it was going to be a level where it was get 100,000 points. I'm just going to let this... Uh, torch burn out, right? Did, did it burn out? No, I'm gonna wait for it to burn out. Okay, so what you have to do is, you have to hit this, wait a couple of seconds, and then just hit this, and boom, you can get through just like that. It's a pretty hard puzzle. Like, I wasn't able to figure it out on my own. And I've heard lots of people get time over, so that sucks, but hey, what are you gonna do about it? It's a puzzle. And I just kind of want to jump on this platform right here to do this. Uh, so, let me ask you guys, what do you guys think of this game so far? I mean, not this playthrough so far, but what do you guys think of this game? I mean, do you like it? Do you uh, think it's okay? Do you, uh, just... Meh. Yeah. I can want to jump to the side over here, yeah. Don't get hit by the debris, because the debris will hurt you. The explosion and the debris will hurt you, so... Knowing that, be super careful. Now, see what I mean. And see what I mean getting by getting hit sucks. Big time. Okay, be careful. Jump right here, and... There we go. That leaves a spring. That leaves a spring, which will take you to another spring. And ducking can let you see a blow view, and going like this will let you see a blow and I'm surprised Sonic doesn't light himself on fire when he does this, but whatever. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez! Yeah, there's ten rings right there, just in case, you know, trying to get the... Super Sonic, if you haven't already, and... Oh god, just made it. And jump over to the side. Alright, we're doing good so far. Good so far. Good so far. Um, so far, Lost Labyrinth has been the longest of the three zones. Alright, this part's a little tricky. What you gotta do is jump! And you'll be fine. Alright. I believe we're nearing the end of Lost, of Lost Labyrinth Act 2. And pretty much, don't jump there and hold right whenever you get off the minecart. Just giving a heads up. And jump... And jump, there's a platform below if you fall, but I believe there's, if you jump, if you miss your jump on the lower platform, you automatically die. Now hold forward, and that's all for this, uh, this act. It's pretty long, I mean, five minutes, that's the longest act we've had so far, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I uploaded the first part of Super Smash Brothers today to vlog a little bit. 
I pulled the first part of Super Smash Bros. today. We still have to record that. We have to. We have to. We're. I mean, we. It'll only take like more. A two. A more. Like, we only need to record about two more hours. Uh, Bryce and I. So. Yeah. This is. Uh. I. Don't, I didn't read the stage name, but uh, ow. All right. A little fun fact that I want to show off right here is. This 10 rank thing, jump on it regularly, and you'll bounce up here to get 50 rings. So that's good if you're going for the um, if you're going for the thing. I have to say, Sonic looks so weird underwater. Like I don't even know. And it sucks because it's kind of dark under here, which sucks. Because my my. Dazzle doesn't do dark places really well, and... Ow. There you go. Ow! <laughs> that would've sucked if I fell there. Man, that's the place level to get, uh, 50 rings, because, you know, you get that part right at the beginning. And... Yeah, be careful. Uh... Yeah, all the enemies look so deformed underwater. Like, you look at Sonic, his, like, eyes get really big sometimes. Like, I know there's a certain checkpoint. Ah, oh, god dang, I, I kind of land, I kind of fell into that, but hey, at least I got a bubble. Oh, come on, Sam! Jeez, the freaking leaves. There we go. Oh, my god. And are we coming up the end? Are we coming up on the end? I really don't want to drown. That would suck, but... Yeah, right here. Eh. Uh, Finally use the spin dash for something, but yeah, there's a lot of speed boosters. And that's what I mean speed boosters sound fine. Alright. Welcome to Sonic 4's version of the Barrel of Doom, I guess. Um, cause it's pretty like hard to figure out because that is trying to teach you something for the Barrel of Doom, but I mean I don't know if Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing, Sam? I'm just like sitting there going, but all right. So you want to hit that checkpoint and then get these speed shoes, because you know there's a giant wall chasing you, which isn't fun. I hate these things. Just trying to run at full speed up these, and uh, I mean, ah, oh, man, come on, come on, come on! No, 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 no! Oh god dang it. Well there's the first death of the game. I mean I mean granted that sucks that that was the first death of the game, but whatever. I mean because we're kinda late into the game, but not too late because we only have out of this only two more zones. Am I am I uh Okay, thank god I made that and uh, And let me all right, now, Sam, Sam, let you go up all the way. There we go. All right, so just, yeah, let the springs hit you up all the way. Dini, dini me. All right, sorry about that. I take care of something, but yeah, now we're nuclear super hypersonic. Actually, no, we're not supersonic, but yeah, I, lo I love getting the shield as supersonic. It's funny looking. But yeah, uh, I'll take this path. Uh, boom. I'd like to see a... Okay, what, whoops, alright. Bubble, 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 alright, no, alright. Okay, this one was like, th this is where it was, like, it was really funny, because... Like, Sonic looks so... Just... Deformed underwater, it's the weirdest thing ever. Alright, so, with that, um, man, this is the only level with, uh, like, we're traversing on, where you actually traverse underwater in this game, I mean, in Sonic 4, alright, this is what I was talking about, see that room that we, we were familiar with, so you want to go, it's turn, and then turn back, and then 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 turn, and then turn, and then turn. And 
Yes, I'm not very good at it. And turn, turn, turn. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's really hard. I don't know what to do. All right, so t get that switch and then fall down until, and then just hold left so you can go this way and jump off. And hit this switch that opens the door to the right of us. So jump off. All right, no. Jump off right here. And that's all for Act 3. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, again, a pretty long stage, almost five minutes, but... Yes, now, this boss coming up is my least favorite boss of the game. Mainly because it's... It's very simple to die, and it can just kind of own you. But it takes, like, a minute to actually get to the hard part of the boss. Like... It's like all the bosses in Sonic 4, but not as bad. Because at least, at least you don't like overly die and stuff in the bosses in Sonic 4. But yeah, I mean, you just hit uh, Dr. Eggman here. Not really hard. Try to stay above the water. It's highly recommended you do that just so you, just so your physics aren't physics aren't messed with. But the water will eventually catch up. So just try to get as far as you can. Uh, there aren't any bubbles anywhere, so be really careful on that. And right here, there's going to be some spike things that come down from the ceiling. So just spin dash through them. Very important that you do that. So, you know, you don't get hit. And the water does kind of wait for you, so you don't drown. But yeah, if you, hit, uh, if you hit Eggman a couple of times, he'll just, like, dash off. But as you can see, it took a minute to get there. Now we have the really hard part. Which, you know, stay in the corner right here and make sure to jump off so you can get a free shot at him. And let's see what, uh, what move we're gonna do, right? And... Uh, which one are you going for? Which one are you going for? Alright, that's fine. I'm just gonna let this- I'm just gonna sit this one out. Because it's very hard to get to that one, so... Yeah, there are only really two that I can really get him in get shots on him on. So, which one's this? Is this... Oh, God. No! See, that's what happens! I hate that! Because you hit him, you go down, and then you're stuck. So, I'll meet you guys back there. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I'm gonna again stay at the right side. To just... Uh, there we go. Alright, now I'm gonna stand in the middle. Because, again, the screen isn't fully out, so you can't really see where he's gonna go. So, let's see. What move is he going for? Oh, it's this one. Alright, this is... Pretty easy. All right, what do you want to do is stand right here and then jump as soon as they go down so you can hold and attack him. His invincibility frames are pretty high, so you getting two hits on him is very slim. All right, let's see what he's going to do now. I am not. I, I would have. I could have gone for that and probably could have hit him twice at that matter. But you know, it's too difficult. To, right, and let's see what he's going for now. Is he going for the same one? And I right, guess he is just jump like that and stand right here. To uh, yes, there we go. And all right, I think he only needs one more hit. So let's see what move is he going for. There we go. Okay, there we go. After like three tries, I finally got him. It's so annoying how it takes like two. This boss is the longest one. It takes like two minutes. Well, the final boss is longer. But you get the point. Um, well, anyways, ah, oh, Jesus! It's this video took like 21 minutes. Well, great, I'm cutting out a lot of that stuff. So, anyways, I'm VXK. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a fantastic day. Bye.